Sunday, 10 a.m. in the coldest village on earth. A nine-year-old Aryan is still sleeping. But he must get up. Aryan has no time for rest. Weekends are the busiest days in Yakutia. Nature calls. Aryan rushes to the toilet outside. After seven months of the dark and cold winter, finally, spring is here. The seasonal temperature drop in Yakutia can reach 100 degrees from minus 70 to plus 30 degrees in the summer. Even though it's only 3 degrees out today, Aryan feels that the summer it has already arrived. Aryan's mom Lyubov has already prepared a simple breakfast. Yakutian pancakes, cheese, cookies and buckwheat, Aryan's favorite. <laughs> After breakfast, Aryan and his father are now feeding their dogs with raw meat. <laughs> Sunday is the day for showering, and the first of Aryan's duties is to chop the wood for the family's bathhouse. They don't have running water showers, so instead they use a bathhouse with a heating stove and a steam room for showering. Aryan is the youngest son in the family. He has two older sisters, but they are studying in university far away from the village. So now he is the only one who is helping his parents. Look how much wood they need just for one shower. It takes them about five hours to heat a bathhouse. That's why they only able to shower once a week. After the fire is on and the door is closed, it's time to find water for the shower. For showering, locals buy lake water from the waterman Grigori. As he drives around the village, Aryan and his family hang up a red flag as a signal to order water. Grigori sells lake water that he collected from the lake nearby. Locals use it for their daily necessities, but it's not safe for drinking. Aryan pays Grigori about $5 for three barrels of water. Meanwhile, Irian and his father Kirill are arranging the ice they harvested in November from the river nearby. Digging wells is too expensive in this part of the world due to a thick layer of hard permafrost. Besides, pipes freeze during the long winter, making ice the cleanest available drinking source. <laughs> Another Sunday duty is to shovel the snow in the yard. It's important to shovel the snow away in Yakutia before it starts to thaw. The ground is solid ice all year round and all the snow melts and can cause big puddles in spring. Aryan dutifully pulls the sled, which weighs about the same as him, happy to help his father. Kim would do who never fall, car better here. 
Ахман Гагаятан, Хаска Бадараны, Кочетары, Выкалладят. After the work is done, Aryan is finally having a little break. From early spring until the autumn cold, Aryan and his father spend most of their time in nature, fishing and hunting, which makes a large portion of their food. Now, Aryan is heading to his grandparents' house, Isabella and Radomir, who you might have seen in our previous video. Aryan and his family has been living in this village for many generations. It's a small, remote village in the southwest of Yakutia. There is no crime, no police station, all locals know each other, so parents are not worried about their children. Aryan's grandparents are engaged in cattle and horse breeding, like many locals in this village. Tending animals in this severe climate requires hard work, so Aryan often comes over to help. Since ancient times, horses were key for communication and keeping people in contact within Yakutia's territory, which is six times larger than France. Aryans love spending time with horses. Before he leaves, he gives them one of their favorite treats – sugar cubes. <laughs> While Aryan was helping his grandma, Isabella prepared a treat for him and his parents – a few bottles of fresh, homemade sour cream. Aryan loves skiing during his free time, and in just a few days he has a school biathlon competition which his parents are helping him to prepare for. Kirill and Leboy are supporting Aryan in everything. Every weekend they go skiing on the frozen river nearby. The weather is warming up for the spring. Yakuts are spending as much time as possible outside in the sun. Aryan's family loves cooking outside during spring and summer times. Every Sunday they have their own little tradition of cooking in a large cooking pot. Today Lubov is cooking beef with vegetables. Yakutian cuisine generally relies on meat, fish and dairy products. Since the ground is frozen solid, it's impossible to grow fruits and vegetables all year round. Therefore, Lubov is using frozen carrots that were ground during the short summer in Yakutia. Mm 
Onda o sene bir tığa olur diye ben onun şu evde kolladım. Kahm bağladım da ne beyin talgi her takanla. Anlık. Aslanla gün. Örebil örebil kurdu baba da hangi an kurdu baba kaca bile. Ülen kendinden kasa ho barna olur. Uspeydi kınadı diye kurdu tanga suuna bağını tanan. Tahar cihan ol bahar diye. O kabutu niçin diye kurdu. While the boy is preparing lunch, Harian and his dad are busy making vargan, which is known in Yakutia as a hummus. Harian is inspired to be like his father Kirill Petrov, who is a well-known craftsman in Yakutia. Yakutian vargans are made of metal and rely on a rigid metal frame and a small metal reed which players flick to create vibrations. Firstly, they make a perfect hole in the metal form that Kirill had prepared earlier. After it has a perfect frame, they start making their reed, which must be elastic in order to produce a good sound. <laughs> then, they make a slot for the reed using a saw. It's necessary to try fitting the reed regularly as it must be directly between the arms of the frame. The vargan has been used for centuries in Yakutia in shamanistic rituals to induce trances and heal sickness. Moreover, almost all cultural events in Yakutia start with charming homo sound. Hakakomuğa arçılır, komus bulduğuna katılamak tıstağ, hem bir uğrada ki nandı da hoca takpolar kandıkta ne nongur ikkis komus hatan ki hatan yüktü nongur bat. Lele lele jedi, tamamen nakat derece, hatan ne be? Finally, after five hours, the bathhouse is heated to the right temperature and Aryan is ready to shower. First, Harvian goes to the steam room where temperatures reach up to 70 degrees. Because the temperature is so high in the steam room, Aryan comes back out very quickly. After leaving the steam room, he starts washing himself with the lake water that he bought from the waterman Grigori. Meanwhile, Aryan's mom Lubov has already prepared lunch. The air is filled with rich smells of Lubov's cooking, the smell of delicious juicy beef. Aryan and his father just can't wait to have some delicious food. The whole family gathers together to finally have a little bit of rest and enjoy their food after a long day of work. <laughs> Bile uluvut YouTube'un var bitti. Onu konu on dört milyon pas motoru bavut yedi. On dört de. Kara. Tabii lima ne? Anba manna üç obay bu konu bu budu me. Kar bak üç obay tuğla liren tuğam ay. Lubov connects to ExpressVPN whenever she goes online, and they are sponsoring this video. All around the world, network security is becoming more and more important. And ExpressVPN helps to protect network data and keeps us safe from hackers who can gain access to our passwords, financial details, or even emails. This is especially important when we are connected to public Wi-Fi. I also love using Netflix to watch shows such as The Vikings that are not available in my country. Did you know that the available movies are totally different in different countries? There are thousands of movies and shows that are not available in your country, but you can access using ExpressVPN. 
and you can even save money. With just one click, you can change your location and save 10 US dollars per month of Netflix subscription, which can also work for buying flight tickets and online games. Lyubov bought an ExpressVPN subscription and it can be used on up to 5 devices at the same time, so her family can stay protected and enjoy all the benefits too. And as our video sponsor, you can get 3 months for free by visiting expressvpn.com slash qnb. And there is also a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can download it and try it out. Check out the link in the description. Now, Lyubov, Aryan and Kirill are excited to watch themselves on YouTube. They read all the comments and are very happy to see all the sweet and kind comments from all parts of the world. The way Aryan death looks at him hurt when well you can tell he really cares about his family. How about you guys? How do you spend your weekend and how does spring look like in your town? Let me know in the comments below. We may live different lives, speak different languages, have different appearances, but deep down inside we are all the same. We have the same emotions, we all love our children and our parents. We are like different leaves that all come from the same root, the planet Earth. <laughs> Did you go? Hey,